everybody. Uh, just going to do a quick uh, Q&A here. Got a couple of questions here from a uh, uh, video viewer. Um, I'll get to those questions and answers in just a moment. I just noticed something funny. I was on my way home from work today. Now, it's Halloween Day when I'm recording this. I don't know if I'm going to post it Halloween Day or not. But um, I was driving home, and I happened to look the left-hand side of the road. I was just looking, and there's this kid with a baseball bat, and he's just beating the ground. And I don't mean just like, you know, this or anything. He's actually taking the baseball bat and swinging it down like this, swinging around and stuff. And at first, I thought there was something underneath the bat, but there was nothing. I was just thinking, are kids that bored to say that they need to take a baseball bat and meet, beat the ground mercilessly? I can't say that word right, but, you know, I mean, are they that bored or they hate the earth that much or something? I thought, you know, if they hate the earth, pour battery acid or something in it, for crying out loud. Don't start beating it with a baseball bat. I just, you know, if you think about it, think about it. Driving in a car, you have to look over the left. It's, you know, some kid just, and he was like maybe seven or eight, you know, and this is on a busy street, too. This is a state road. Just having to look over, and he's just sitting there just beating the ground, just bam, bam, going to town on it, and there was nothing on the ground. <laughs> it was completely funny. I figured that everybody might enjoy that. All right, now let's get to the uh, question and answers here. Uh, uh, Tio sent these. Uh, he's watched a lot of my videos. I appreciate it very much for uh, for the great compliments you give me, and uh, glad you like the videos, and I'll keep making them as long as I uh, have games to make them over, which I have a pretty good Sega Saturn collection, which I'm going to show that off as soon as I get them all in. I'm so excited about it. So his first question was, uh, what was the best video game for you, and what system was it on? I've got to say that uh, the best video game for me ever was Super Mario Bros. 64. Well, okay, Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo 64, not on the DS. Uh, DS is too quirky to control. And uh, why, why, why did I like that game? Uh, for a couple of things, that's when I felt me 3D got super mainstream. I know PlayStation had it before, but it was super blocky. It's like somebody rubbed mayonnaise or, or Vaseline all over my glasses or something, you know. Mario 64 is the first one that made it really cool looking. It was also one of those games that were, you know, magical. It had a good storyline, excellent music. Music was just amazing. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun, too. Sure, there were some time date levels and stuff. I needed a guidebook for a couple of things, because at that time the internet wasn't so prominent. It was hard to look up anything. But, you know, I really enjoyed that game a lot. And, and um, I played the heck out of that game. Beat it multiple times. I beat it even after I'd beaten it, just to get in there and have some more fun on some of the levels. It's one of the games, to this day, I can just pick up and play. I got it on my Wii and my virtual console, and I, I just have fun with it, you know? It's a great game, and um, I got a lot of flack from the PlayStation people and stuff, but I, I really didn't care at the time. Um, second best game, though, and this is kind of funny, these were the only two launch titles to 64. Yeah, I know, a system with two launch titles was Pilot Wing 64. I never played Pilot Wings before that. I know it was for the Super NES, but not never knew about it for the uh, uh, N64, but I happened to pick it up as well, and I, I, I loved that game. I remember the... Um, uh, Birdman was one of my favorite features. I know, it was just, you're flying through the levels as a bird, you can do anything you want to. But it was one of the games that, that had a lot of creativity behind it. You know, you had the, the jumble hopper, which is basically moon shoes, you're bouncing through the levels. Then there was the hang glider, the gyrocopter, that you, you know, you had missiles on that too, and that was kind of cool. And um, you also had um, uh, the cannon launch thing, and the skydiving. All those were just a lot of fun to play. The characters were were over the top, you know, you had the, the short, skinny, tall guy, all the way to the big guy, you know, and it was just a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed playing that game quite a bit, and um, uh, miss it to this day. I, I um, got to where you had at least silver to get Birdman for everything, and um, I, I had that going on, and, and Birdman, another cool feature about that game is you could take pictures as Birdman and then pull them up, up to six. It was kind of slow pulling them up, but if you found something cool on the map, you could take pictures of it. And there were a lot of cool things on those maps if you knew where to look. There was some stuff hidden inside of buildings and stuff, and it was just kind of cool. One of my favorite maps, it was a, it was a version of the United States. Just They called it the Mini United States. It was all there, complete with Space Shuttle, Mount Rushmore with Mario's face on it. If you shoot it, the rocket became Wario's face. Uh, it had the big cities out west in, in California, and uh, New York City, and the White House. All those things were there, and it was just kind of cool to see. And uh, if you're playing the gyrocopter on there, you could pull up to a gas station, actually. You drive it like a car, pull up to the gas station, it would refill your fuel. So that was, I don't even know if that was in the manual. Let me check here. I happen to have, um, I don't have the games or the system anymore, unfortunately. But it was kind of odd. I found these. I have uh, Mario 64, original manual. They're in kind of rough shape. 
and uh, Pilot Wing 64. So that's the game I'm talking about right now. This is my second favorite game. Um, yeah, Mario 64, way awesome. But let me see here. Gyrocopter. Two missiles in flight at a time. No, it doesn't even say in here anything about the gas station. That's something they kind of build in, kind of like a hidden thing. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, all right, next question there. Uh, let's see here. What was the best home console by your opinion? Well, let's see here. That's, that's kind of hard to say. For me personally, it was the Sega Genesis. I know I just said all my favorite games were on the N64. Well, two of them. But the Sega Genesis was the first system I ever really had as a kid. I mean, we had the Atari 2600. My older brothers had that. And my older brothers had the NES, but I was too little to really understand how to play them. The Genesis is where I first was able to comprehend how to play a video game. So there's a lot of memorable games on that. Sonic the Hedgehog and um, Columns. I had the, uh, I, I didn't really like Golden Axe for it. A lot of my friends do, and they bug me about it once in a while, but oh well. But uh, let's see, but as far as the best home console, by my opinion, completely for everybody, I would have to say, I'm going to go old school here, it would have to be the NES um, for everybody. I mean, at that point, Atari, you have to understand, Atari had just taken the home gaming console and just pfft, put it in the, the, you know, the stinker. It was it basically killed the home gaming console. Everybody was returning to arcades more powerful. Atari had been starting to rip people off, you know, by offering the 5200 and the 7800, which nobody was buying. And um, there's an interesting read in Uncle John's Bathroom Reader, number 15th, the 15th volume about Nintendo and how they had to sell it. The people basically offered it as a light gun game. They threw that in. And um, so they told the stores that, look, if you don't sell them, we'll buy them back from you. So the stores didn't have anything to lose. And uh, basically, Nintendo single-handedly relaunched the video game market. It went from being a dead enterprise to a live enterprise. All right, guys, um, that's pretty much my take on these questions here. T.O., great questions. Don't feel bad about asking me... Uh, um, what my favorite game was because that's important to know and remember there's no dumb questions there's just dumb answers all right everybody i'm andy have a good halloween or actually if i post this after halloween i hope you had a good halloween and uh good gaming